Hi, this is Brandon from Taytog Tech, back here again with another video. So recently I was house sitting for family and I jumped on their Wi-Fi with my Linux laptop and I was able to connect to the network, but I wasn't getting to the internet. So I was like, what the heck's going on here? So I started troubleshooting. Well, I had an IP address and my phone was working perfectly fine. I also had brought in a Windows laptop with me to do some work on and that one connected with no issues. Well, I then tried to ping their gateway router and I wasn't getting a response. So I was like, well, okay, this is kind of weird. Well, the thought occurred to me, their router has the same exact IP address as mine back on my home network. So it's probably trying to ping the router based on my router's MAC address, which it can't do because that Mac, the MAC address is not gonna line up with the IP address. So I flushed the ARP cache and lo and behold, it started working. This action saved me hours of troubleshooting and I want to share it with you. Today I'm going to show you how to clear your ARP cache in one command, so stay, stay tuned. Now, before getting into the content today, I have a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like this, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell button for notification. Let's get into it. So you're probably at this point wondering, well, what is ARP? Um, or, you know, you may already be familiar with it, so here's a refresher. Um, this is the address resolution protocol, which maps IP addresses to MAC addresses. So it basically maps who you are to where you are. ARP only keeps track of the local on the local LAN and routes and helps route traffic locally. If a device needs to know who is associated with an IP address, the device will send out an ARP request, which starts the ARP process. Now, IP MAC address associations are kept in the ARP cache. When routing traffic on the local network, this is the first place check before doing the ARP process. So let's actually go ahead and check out the ARP cache, which is going to be IP N E I G H. All right, and here we go. We can actually see we've got two here. We've got this one right here, which is actually the default router, default gateway for this machine. And then we've also got a neighbor, another neighbor right here, which is this IP address and this MAC address. So uh, we can see that we have uh, multiple entries. Now, keep in mind, depending on the size of the network, you will, um, you may have more than just two clients. Mine's only got two clients on it, so that's why you're only seeing two. And, and remember, this is only locally. So if it's a network outside of your local network, you're not going to see any, you're not going to see those located inside of your ARP cache. So be mindful of that. Now, before moving on and covering the one command, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Give it a dislike if you did not like the video. And lastly, let me know what you liked, didn't like, or have any questions uh, down in the comments. So let's get into it. Now, the command that we're going to be using to clear the ARP cache is going to be IP, TAC S, TAC S, and then it's going to be N-E-I-G-H, flush, all. Now, what's going on here? So IP is the, you know, is part of the IP suite of commands. There's tons of other verbs that go along with it. You know, uh, I shouldn't say verbs, but other um, specifications that go along with it. You know, IP address, IP neighbor, IP route, depending on what you want to do is you're going to put in a, a different command there. And this, what we're putting in here is going to be N-E-I-G-H. The other, you can also put it in as its full name. If we go back over here to N-E-I-G-H. Uh, whoops, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Why is this not going? Let's see here. Hold on. Let me let me take this out here. For some reason, it is not auto-completing, but you can do it as either N-I-N-E-I-G-H-B-O-R as a neighbor, or you can also do it the, um, the other way, which is putting O-U-R. All right. So let's go back and put the command back in there. All right, so the command here, um, these the next part of the command is going to be these two S's. So really, what we're doing is we're saying like, hey, like give us some output and show us what you're doing. Um, and the more like you can put just a single TAC S, or if you put more than one TAC S, it's going to give you more information. So, but typically, like if you're just if you've got a smaller cache, you're probably not going to have a lot of output. So just be mindful of that. And then neighbor is you know is indicating that hey, look, we're doing some stuff with the ARP cache. So. Um, that's why we're specifying neighbor here or N-E-I-G-H. 
the flush is going to say, hey, look, um, this is what I want to do to the ARP cache. I want to go ahead and flush it. Now, you can't just use flush in a vacuum. You have to give it some kind of direction. You have to either give it a device or you have to do all. And in this particular case, since we're doing this in one command, we want to just flush everything. So we're going to go ahead and indicate all. Now, we saw what the ARP cache was before, right? Let's actually just do that again real quick. All right, now let's go ahead and run the command. IP, TAC S, TAC S, N-E-I-G-H, flush all. Oops. Got to put a sudo on there. All right, perfect. And see, there we go. And it, it gave us the output of the actual ARP cache, and it says round one, deleting two entries. Flush is complete after one round. So let's go ahead and just do an IP in the IGH. Now, it already put it already pulled this back in there because it knows about this. And that's where it got its IP address and all that stuff, so it knows that now. All right, we go to this one right here and ping it. All right, and there we go. We've got the ARP, we've got the ARP cache updated back to what it was prior. So yeah, pretty easy stuff. And keep in mind, if you want to if you want to get any any additional information on the IP neighbor command, is you can just do man IP tac neighbor, and it's going to be spelled like that if you want to get that information. So just be mindful of that it's going to be O U R instead of O R. All right, so perfect. Yeah, so problem was solved for me. Um, now you know how to flush your ARP cache in Linux in one command. So thank you very much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.